Hello YouTube people, this is Luigi Master, and I'm going to be resuming uh, my Let's Play. This is going to be part 14. Ah, oh, shoot, I forgot to save part 13 as an AVI. But oh well, at least I can open up the Camtasia Studio and I'll convert it. Even though it'll take twice the time to convert it than it usually does. But oh well, that's what you pay. That's what you pay for. Alright. Oh, it's not Yoshi yet? Or Big Yoshi, excuse me. Alright. Yippee, thank you for rescuing me. I'm a red Yoshi. I can breathe fire no matter what color shell I eat. And that's kind of useless if you think about it. Compared to uh, the blue Yoshi, no matter what he eats, he turns uh, high. He starts flying. That's kind of useless. Anyway. Yeah, if there's one thing I hate about the red Yoshis, if you take a blue shell, you can't regurgitate. So as a result, you're either forced to swallow it, or you're supposed to spit it out. And you know what they say, spitters are quitters. <laughs> that actually makes sense. Spitters are quitters. Oh, come on. Oh, well. At least he had some sort of purpose. Aw, oh, shoot. I was hoping to do some sort of rack. One up rack it. Because I invented it. I figured it out, yo. Anyway. This guy over here has an attitude, so he kicks every single fucking shell he sees. Because he's emo like that. He probably got kicked in the nuts when he was two years of age. Oh, that's kind of cruel. But in Koopa years, two years of age is like a million. Or, you know, basic age. Where are the dragon coins? I think I missed them. Or there's some more here, hopefully. There's one right there, but that's probably what was supposed to be the final dragon coin. Yup, that was supposed to be the final one. Where could the fifth one be? I wonder where. Where could it be? Ah, fuck. I'm gonna beat this stage the way I'm supposed to. Fuck the dragon coins. I can come back to the stage another day and get another one, right? Right? Two minutes and 30-some seconds in this Let's Play. We're doing okay. There we go. And we've beaten this stage with 98 ticks on the clock. Two minutes and 46 seconds in. Well, so much for that. Let's just go back. You know, I just beat the stage for nothing. No dragon coins or anything like that. No secret exit. Let me go to this stage over here and get the secret exit. There we go, Force of Illusion 3. Which one? Oh, it's this one. Hmm, I think it was a pipe and I needed the Yoshi. Because the key's like on the other side of the wall. Because there is just a, another brick in the wall. Alright, Blue Yoshis. I love Blue Yoshis. They're so useful. You might have remembered me, like how I caught me saying in the past minute or so. Blue Yoshis will, whatever shell they eat, will fly. Right now. Maybe I could get all the dragon coins in here. There we go. Figured out a, tr a cheap way to make him run. See? Yoshi's not a quitter. He didn't spit it out. Ah, oh, come on! Well, at least since I'm here, I might as well try and get the uh, dragon coins. Hmm. Hopefully it won't be any funny business. Oh, Mario. What did I tell you about dying? Once you die, you won't come back. Or at least you should, because you're Mario, and Mario's invincible and stuff like that. Until Sonic came along, and then he's like, I am everything Mario can do and more, you know? Not only can I high call sustain hits more than Mario can, you know, I can... I can live permanently if done right, you know, because you can see every time I'm hit, I leave at least one coin. And as long as I have that coin, I'm invincible. I fucked it. Excuse me. As long as he has the, his one ring, he's invincible. Mario, on the other hand, once he loses his high called mushroom powers, he's pretty much 
done for if he's hit one more time. And not only that, but add insult to injury, he also goes quote unquote Super Saiyan. Wow, way to go, Gary. Way to. How's that for Gary Stewism, huh? He's like so cool, it's almost like he's unlike. Ah, oh, come on. Maybe I should do a Yoshi jump here. Alright, that was pretty useful. Get rid of all the fucking bob bombs. We. Ah! I hate this part of the stage because then you can't get Yoshi. Or, you know, you fall down and then the, the Goombas come and kill him. Or he, he gets hit, he gets afraid because he's a fucking pussy. And he runs off like a, like a pussy, you know? Like a real pussy. Just like, just like the French in World War II. He doesn't bother to sit and fight. He just runs away because he's afraid of, you know, losing something. Like what? I don't know. At least it's the Blue Yoshi this time. He can fly at least. He's a lot more useful than the Red Yoshis. Oh yes, the Orange Yoshis I think are by far the most useless of them all. Because the Orange Yoshi, hi call. When he has a shell and he jump, he lands, he makes an earthquake. But the earthquake's hit uh, high call radius is incredibly small. It even makes Mario's cape. You know when he jumps up and he lands, even that has a be better radius. You know, it destroys all enemies that are sitting on screen. But with Yoshi, as long as like in point blank range, then it can kill them. I mean, what's the point in that when you can just easily just jump on them? Seriously. Oh no! Ugh! I, it's a it's official. I suck at this game. And we're gonna spend this entire let's play on this one fucking level. We couldn't be doing anything else. We're just gonna sit here and watch me not be good at this game. Wonderful, isn't it? I killed that one fucking fudge packer. There you go. How you like that, huh? There you go. Got all the dragon coins. And now after this one, I'll try to get uh, the secret exit. Assu uh, assuming time will, time will allow it. I'm 7 minutes and 30 seconds in, so uh, I'm pretty sure we have the time. Actually, I think the green Yoshis are overall useless, you know, because they're at least each of those Yoshis has a specific function to them. Yoshi doesn't. When he gets a red shell, he spits them out as fireballs. <clears throat> Excuse me. When he gets them, he spits them out as fireballs. When he has a yellow shell, he uh, high caught has an earthquake ability like the aren't yellow Yoshis do. When he gets a blue shell, he uh, high caught. He flies, so it's like, oh, come on! He flies like everyone else. And with the green shell, nothing, absolutely nothing happens. It's, this is annoying. This is very annoying. The way this, these enemies are placed in this game, I'm surprised if the people who made Kaizo Mario actually didn't work for Nintendo. You know? They're like, hey, do you see how much of a pain in the ass this stage is? You know, I bet the person who's playing this game would rather have his testicles nailed into the wall than play this stage. You know? But no. We have to subdue with this horror and with Yoshi's high call. I'm hit and now start running. Cap uh, not capabilities. There you go. Oh, come on. Oh! Ah! This way this level, this fucking level is thrown together is fucking irritating. Well, it could be because I just fucking suck at this game. But who cares? I'm playing this game. I'm planning on beating it. And I'm not going to let no fucking gimmick keep me down. You know? Fuck this game. I'm going to fucking prove to this game that I can beat this fucking game. Fuck you, Nintendo. Fuck you, Bowser. Fuck you, Yoshi. And fuck you to whoever else is in this game. Even if it is a high call, Mario. Well, no offense to Mario. Me and Mario are pals, you know. He understands my pain. Hopefully I can just fly above here and not get hit by anything. But as long as I keep a good scope on Yoshi's mouth, if he's going to swallow it. 
And if I, he does, I should land in a good spot. Okay, here we are. Ten minutes in this Let's Play, so I'm going to save real quick. And see you guys later. Have a good night.